Hi, how y'all doing? Welcome to Season A, where the platform where we speak things to power. Um, I'm I'm gonna get there. I'm hoping, but I'm gonna do a small video. I may even come and do this in a live um shortly. But we're gonna just try and test a few things out. Um, basically, this is the uh, minister for uh, I think uh, security. Uh, let me get his name right, and I'll you know I'll, we can talk more about it. Um, he has basically they followed an attempt. So the security minister Muhammad, his security minister Muhammad Usana. Uh, let's hear what he has to say about the recent coup, and I'll be showing some pictures next to him of people that are involved in the coup. Um, it's very important. I'll talk you through it where I can. Oh, in fact, I'll let him talk. Then I will then bring this, uh, bring the, the commentary behind. It. Okay, here we go. Yes pour la prise d'objectifs qui ont été conseillés dans leur contrat. Ils devraient en premier lieu mener des actions violentes contre des uh, civils innocents. One sec, let me just start from beginning. So this is by the Burkina 24. Uh, let me just make sure, I want to make sure that uh, we have everything in there. Uh, okay, so here we go. So listen, here we go. Depuis plusieurs mois, nos services de renseignement en collaboration avec ceux de l'Alliance des États du Sahel, mm -hmm. suivent de près un vaste réseau de déstabilisation orchestré depuis l'extérieur et dont les ramifications internes menacent notre souveraineté nationale. Nous souhaitons vous exposer les faits qui illustrent l'ampleur de ces manœuvres ainsi que les actions résolues prises pour y faire face. Il est porté à la connaissance du public burkinabé et de la communauté internationale que des individus résidents en République de la Côte d'Ivoire se sont activés dans une entreprise de subversion contre notre pays. Ces acteurs du chaos, appuyés par certains services de renseignement de puissance occidentale, sont constitués aussi bien de civils de divers profils que des militaires et anciens militaires ayant quitté le territoire national pour participer à des opérations de propagande et de déstabilisation. Grâce au suivi permanent de leurs activités, nous avons pu déjouer plusieurs tentatives de déstabilisation aussi pernicieuses qu'incessantes. Face à ces échecs répétés, ces individus sans foi ni loi ont opté pour un énième plan. Ce énième plan consistait d'une part à signer un contrat avec des groupes terroristes baptisés les centraux et d'autre part à leur donner des formations spécifiques Okay. Uh, let me, that's a quite a long video, but I wanted to just share that he heard. Now, let us see what he talked about or what he will talk about um, in its totality. But I just want to just give you an idea. So basically, what he's saying is that um, the Buckingham's military government says the fault attempts to destabilize country. Um, this was um, just a couple of days ago. I think I believe that was probably yesterday. Uh, uh, but anyway, it says here, um, um, two, over 26,000 people, including of social soldiers, militia, members, and civilians have lost their lives in Burkina Faso since 2016. Uh, Burkina Faso's military government has said it has fought several attempts to destabilize the country, led by a former high-ranking official, uh, army official, who previously stood power in the West African nation. And who is that guy they are referring to? It is none other than Demiba, if I'm correct. Uh, let me see. Let me Demiba, I think it's called. So Damiba, here we go. You see him come up now. So this guy here, this yeah. guy, is um, been uh, trying to take power by force. Uh, Damiba. Let me see if I can make that smaller. Can I? Okay, maybe not, but I will try and do it this way. Can I? Okay, I will try. I want to just get a flavor of exactly what the man is. So this is in here. So yeah. that's what the commander was talking about. Um, so he's the, uh, he, he was, this was when he was sworn in as a president, but he's leading the coup against Ibrahim Traore. Um, now, don't forget, keep in mind, Ibrahim Traore is supported by many. 
And of course, there's one other person as well, which I'm going to show you. Um, and well, two other people, but I don't know their names, but we'll see if we can get that name back. Um, sorry, what was second? I was going to get that picture out, but it seems to have just gone a bit. Okay. So Commander Kinda is a name. The name here, this guy here. You see those pictures there? Uh, this is courtesy of another friend, African Forum, that I'm showing you that. But the man here, you see, this is him in the army. And now he's gone to the other side. Now let's read the story about him above. Let's just read the story about him above so you can see exactly what this was. So it says here, Bokin the, 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 this Bokinibar Bay officer adopted a similar appearance to the terrorist fighters with a thin body typical of men operating in remote areas. Commander Kinder's physical transformation was part of their tactic to blend in. He was supposed to be one of their own, even wearing a traditional booboo, as you can see in the picture taken at this time, at the time of his interpolation in Niger. The idea was to pretend to be an ally so as not to awaken suspicion. So, this is the man here. This is him in, in Mali Army, and now he's now blended in, you see, to try and change appearance to take over, you know. And, and this is what we're saying. I mean, I, I'm good to treat, I'll come and do a live on this. But it's very important to understand what is really going on. Um, there is attempts, and they are being funded by many in the West. Yeah, the colonials are funding all of this. Um, uh, so, and there's one more per person which I'm going to, I don't have the name, but I'm going to show you a picture of. Um, again, so this is another one. So this is another person here. I'll see if I can get that name. Um, and he is a former minister um, in, you know, uh, 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 in the, you know, he's a former minister. Let me see if I can get the picture down here. I want to make sure it's small enough. Sorry. Just make it. Okay, so. So I wanted to just see his face. Uh, it's important that you see his face. Because um, what these guys are doing is not right. So you can see him there. So you can see him with the uh, uh, French. Uh, trying to curry favor, no doubt. Uh, or whatever it is he's trying to do, I don't exactly know, but that's him there. That's him above there. So I'm just showing you what is really going on. Um, and we need to speak out about this. And of course, you can see in the picture behind me, uh, these men that you see revolving in the picture around me, we must protect them. Um, Ibrahim Traore, Asemigota, General Cherny, all of them must be protected. Because you can see that they are making attempts to always try and undermine them. And they're carrying out what we call intellectual realignment. Uh, let me read a bit more of that story, then we'll wrap it up. And I'll probably come on a live later. Um, I'm still, yeah, anyway, it's, yeah, I've got some, some I seem to have this, um, some stuff hanging with this flu of mine. Uh, there's an intense body ache, which I can't, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, Annoying, but anyway, so let us read a bit more about that. So he said, uh, uh, we were able to, uh, uh, um, Sana, Mohamed Sana, the security boss here for Burkina Faso, uh, the security minister, Mohamed Sana said, we were able to foil several attempts at destabilization. Security minister Sana said in a statement read out in the, on the state television on, late on Monday. He said Lieutenant Colonel Paul Henry Santiago Damiba, who was ousted from power, which is this man here. Let me bring that picture up. And it's good to have as much detailed information as possible so that you at least have an idea of what we're saying here. Damiba, this guy here, right, exactly that guy. Uh, let me see, does that make any sense? So I just want to make sure that we have that information as we're going along. So beg your pardon. So that's him there. I'll make it smaller so you get his face as well. So that's him there. That's him in the middle. So it says here, um, we were able to follow several attempts at destabilization. Uh, destabilization. Security Minister Mamadou Sani said in a statement read out 
on state television late on uh, Monday. He said that uh, um, Lieutenant Colonel Paul Henry Sandiago Damiba, this man here, who was ousted from power in 2022, had led the military part of this plot. Damiba had not commented publicly on the allegations. Several other, I'm just going to give you, several, uh, 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 several people have been arrested in connection with the plot, including Ahmed Damiba, a former command, commander of the country's special forces, Sana said. Damiba seized power in uh, uh, January 22 coup against elected president Rock Mark Christian Kabore. And I think, uh, yeah, anyway, I'll see if I can find the picture of him. But anyway, this man is involved. There's one other person I wanted you to see. Uh, let us get this picture out. Um, he is uh, a commander. Now, I'm just going to show you his picture here. I want you to focus on him. The man in here, both sides here. This is Damiba, this guy here. This guy here. So I want to make sure that we are clear. The guy here, this one, that's him in, in Burkina Faso full uniform. Now, he went to change sides, as I read earlier on. And he, he, he decided to blend in. So he made himself thin and everything else, lost weight and all of that. And then blend in with wearing their boo-boo to try and trick them into actually getting him to, uh, you know, getting them to drop their guard so he can carry out the coup. Now, little more than eight months earlier, Damiba himself was overthrown by 34-year-old Captain Idev Ibrahim Traore, who is currently in power. Under the leadership of Traore's military government, Burkina Faso has been facing an armed insurgency from the ISGs, a Daesh-affiliate cell group, and the Greater Sahara and the Al-Qaeda-associated JNIM, both which entered the country from Mali in 2016. The Army Conflict Location and Event Data Project reported that over 26,000 people, uh, including soldiers, military members, and uh, civilians, have lost their lives in Burkina Faso since 2016. So I'm just giving you that information, you know. Um, it is very, very, uh, uh, very, very important to understand that. Uh, uh, it is quite uh, uh, important to really understand what has been going on here. Um, there is an attempt, repeated attempts, to actually infiltrate and actually undermine the governments of the three countries you see behind me, uh, which you see in the picture. And, and it is important we will continue to expose that. Um, it is great that the people are falling this, and, uh, and the people of Burkina Faso are with uh, uh, Ibrahim Traore. The people of, Asim, uh, of Bali are, are with Asim Agoita. The people of Niger are with General Abdurrahman Cheani. Uh, you know, these are really important things to state. And we bring in information like this for you to really be able to be aware of what's going on, that there is unreal, unrelenting effort to destabilize the men you see in the picture going behind me. We will not relent. We salute and we support them. And they are working for a better future for all Africans. And it is important that what they are embarking upon to free Africa from bondage of the colonials, yeah. be it French, be it Russian, be it American, be it US, be it China, Africa must be yeah. for Africans. No ifs, no buts. So we are glad and we are grateful that um, Ibrahim Traore has actually, uh, and his group, have actually overcome. Uh, I'm going to leave the picture of the general there. We'll hear him for a few minutes, then I'll wrap up. But they foiled the relenting, unrelenting attempt at coups. Uh, let me just add one more thing to this um, uh, information. Uh, it's very important to, to bring that into the equation. Um, what uh, we are hearing is that, uh, 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 according to reconstruction of the ruling data, the, the dramatic armed at attack carried out on, uh, uh, um, uh, you know, uh, so this is a sl an earlier one, sorry. This is an earlier, no, no, yeah, it was, it is correct. Uh, this is, th there's so many yeah. attacks that I want to just, you begin to lose count of which is which. But it is important to understand that uh, uh, that are being uh, funded uh, 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 um, by uh, Western forces, um, Western colonials who are intent on 
taking African resources on the cheap. And we mustn't allow or accept that anymore. And this is really, uh, it, it's just uh, sickening that this is happening. But we will not relent. And we continue to support the Alliance of Sahel States. Um, I'll come back and do a live if I can. Um, like I said, there's chronic pain. I'm trying to get one or two things seen to. Um, we'll give updates. But for now, this is what we really wanted to talk on, really, the, the attempted coup. And uh, you can see that the, the um, uh, Mamadou Sana, um, the security minister, is very much in charge. And uh, the, 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 the government of um, Ibrahim Traore of uh, Burkina Faso remains firmly in place. And we continue to support them. Um, please do share, share, and share. You're, of course, watching Citizen Network, the platform where we speak truth about. Don't forget to subscribe to us. Help us grow the platform. We really do appreciate your support. So go ahead, subscribe to Citizen AY, hit the notification button, give us thumbs up, and help us reach more people. We really do need your support. It is of immense importance. Um, anyway, I'll come and give you live broadcast where I can with this. Um, but it's just been, yeah, it's, it's not fun to have this going on, but it shows how much we have to be on guard and be vigilant. And... Um, I've spoken about the issue of, again, the fact that the African Union and ECOWAS are toothless. They are unable to help in protecting the people. They are not even encouraging the people in each of the nations to exercise their sovereignty uh, you know, and be able to hold their governors to account. Um, if they are not doing that, there is no, th those bodies are useless. African uh, ECO, uh, European Union protects the rights of the citizens. The rights of citizens are protected and enshrined in law, and they exercise it. I don't think you will hear anywhere in the Arab world that they are going to take on the passport. They will take away the passport of an European um, when they go to Arab countries, whereas they do that with Africans. Uh, and we should, that, that, that's nonsense. And what, you know, if, you, if you're not able to protect your people, and that is, I mean, we, we are effectively saying that we, they can do with us as they please. But you're asking us to trust in the uh, African Union and ECOWAS. And I will continue to say this. As I, there are thousands of Africans who are enslaved right now in Arab countries around the world. I mean, in, 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 Arab, in the Arab uh, um, part of the world, um, you know, from North Africa into Arabia itself. Uh, and nothing is being done by the African Union or ECOWAS. They are toothless dogs and they are not fit for purpose. And I maintain that. So let us support the men we see behind me. Um, uh, Asimi Goita, Abraham uh, Chare, General Chani. Let us support them. We must continue to support these great men. It is of immense importance that we continue to support these great men. You are, of course, watching Citizen AY, the platform where we speak truth to power about the throne. Thank you. And bye for now. Bye for now.